<laughs> Fatal Affair. There's no affair in this movie. It was a night at the club. They almost do it. And then that's it. And then Omar Epps spends the rest of the movie trying to get Atney along. That's basically the movie. I, I want to call myself out on my bullshit first. I want to be the first one to call myself out on my own bullshit. I am going to be extremely merciful on this film just because of Nia Long. Nia Long, baby, if you listening, you are finer than frog hair, sweeter than bear meat, all right? Girl, if you ever need a friend, call me. Call me, girl. I will be there for you. You hear me? I will be there for you twice on Sunday. Call me. Age is like a fine fucking wine that bow-legged, listen, you bow-legged sexy thing, you. I loves me some Neil Long. Fatal Affair. When I first saw the picture, I said, oh, here we go. Here we go. We have another one. There's been a string of black thrillers that's come out in the past few years that have been rip-offs of 90s thrillers like, uh, like um, well, 90s and 80s. Fatal Attraction being the main one, okay, so... Fatal Attraction really inspired a whole generation of black people. So yeah, Fatal Attraction, uh, almost at the Hills Have Eyes. What's that one with uh, Rebecca De Mornay? Uh, the Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Alright, uh, almost every thriller that came out at that time are being remade the black way. Alright, and here, this is no different. Fatal Affair. I was going to skip this one, but I said, you know what? I feel like I'm going to have fun tearing this movie apart, ripping this movie apart. So I said, why not? I watched this movie. Me and my daughter watched this movie together. And this movie is exactly what I thought it was. So real quick, uh, plot. <sighs> There's really no need. Like, you can look at the title and look at the poster and know what the plot is. Nia Long is a successful woman. She's got a, a career, a husband, a daughter in college, perfect house, perfect. She has the perfect life. And then in comes Omar Epps' character, David, who is an old friend of her from back in the day. They knew each other a long time ago, and they, they go out for a couple of drinks, and she has a little bit too much to drink and puts her cards on the table and says that, uh, you know, she's not really happy in her marriage. You know, she wished things were better. And then she has sort of an entanglement with the Omar Epps character. And when I say sort of an entanglement, I, I mean exactly that, sort of. They don't go there all the way. They have a situation where they go to the bathroom, it gets hot, it gets heavy, they're about to do it, and then she says, nah, we can't do this. And of course, he gets blue balls, probably, and that's it. That's the affair. And Okay, spoilers, but it's not really a spoiler. Like I said, you can look at the poster, look at the title. No, you've seen this movie before. I ain't worried about spoiling shit. If you're mad at me, oh well. <laughs> Fatal Affair. There's no affair in this movie. It was a night at the club, they almost do it, and then that's it. And then Omar Epps spends the rest of the movie trying to get Atney along. That's basically the movie. And I tell you what, I call this thing shot by shot. I call this scenario from scenario. I'm sitting there like, I'm telling my daughter like, look, this is about to happen right here. Nope, see, I told you. Look, you're going to end up coming to the house. Nope, nope, nope. What, what did I tell you? Nope, he's going to do this right here. I called the whole movie. Now, Omar Epps, it was cool seeing Omar Epps again because, look, him and Neil Long both are icons of the 90s, okay? You look at Omar Epps, you know, you got Juice, Higher Learning, The Program, Major League Two, The Wood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in Too Deep, okay? Omar Epps is a 90s icon. Neil Long, you know, Boys in the Hood, Big Mama's House, Friday, The Best Man. Come on, man. I just, if, if anything, I love seeing these two together in the same movie, so... Uh, sum this up guys I don't want to ramble on about this movie uh the movie is not good it's not good but for me personally I just love seeing these two together I love looking at Nia Long and uh there are some times where I did laugh at some of the ridiculous shit in this movie now I was thinking as I'm watching this if Tyler Perry would have got a hold of this <laughs> Tyler Perry would have went into the totally ridiculous all right he would have probably had uh Nia Long throwing hot grits on Omar Epps or or, you know, an ashtray bitch type scene or whatever. And the thing about these type of movies, you need shock factor. To make the movie really work, as ridiculous as these movies are, to make the movie work, you need something really shocking. Like Fatal Attraction, for example. The bitch boiled a rabbit, okay? She put battery acid on the man's car. 
Fatal Attraction has some shocking shit in there where you're like, whoa, this bitch is crazy. There was at no time where you watch this and be like, damn, this motherfucker's really crazy. Like, he's supposed to be crazy, and you know he's crazy, but there's nothing that happens where you'd be like, holy shit, this, yo, this just got real. This is a by-the-numbers, Fatal Attraction-type thriller that is just, you watch it and you're like, okay, what's next? And I got, I'm going to give Omar Epps credit. I can tell he had a good time playing this role because every time you see Omar Epps, he's playing a good guy. He's playing the smooth operator. So for him to play a psycho, this is the first time I see him playing this kind of role. So it was it was cool to see him play something different. I could tell he had fun with the role. And there were times where I think he was trying to channel the Terminator and Michael Myers because there's moments, <laughs> there's moments where he appears out of nowhere and he actually, you know, I ain't bullshitting y'all, he actually like stands there, right? And then the car light comes on and you see him rises ahead like this. Do, 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 do. Straight up Terminator. <laughs> so y'all wrapping this up. Uh, is this movie a good time? Not really. Is this movie worth your time? If you're a fan of both of these actors, I think you will like it. But if not, then I say probably skip it because it's not really a good movie. But I loved watching Neil Long. I can't say that enough in this video. That sexy, bow-legged motherfucker had my attention for the whole hour and 40 minutes of this movie. So, y'all, with that being said, if, if, I'm, if I'm talking from a realistic standpoint what I really want to give this movie, I really want to give this movie a D. But because of baby girl, Nia, call me. Call me. Because of her, I'm going to give it a C-. minus. I'm going to bump it up a whole grade. Just because, just for you, baby. Because I'm, I'm a sucker for a pretty face and some bow legs. I love some bow legged women. So, y'all, C- minus is what I got for Fatal Affair. And there was no affair. There wasn't. You know what? I think this movie would have worked better. I'm going to end it with this, y'all. I think this movie would have worked better if you actually had... In a fair situation where you see Omar, you see Nia getting along, you know, that you, you can see them as a couple, but then she comes to her senses and say, wait a minute, I'm married, I can't do this. And then she tries to get away from him, and then that's when the shit goes left. But there was no point where you really believe that they were really attracted to each other. You know that they had to have something for him to go crazy and stalk her for the rest of the movie. And, and that, that's what happened. You know, there, there, there should have been more of the quote-unquote affair, like I said in the title. All right, I've never seen a movie like this where they didn't go all the way. Like, damn, if you're gonna go crazy the whole movie, you should at least tap that shit. He didn't even tap it. He got blue balls and stalked through the whole movie. So that's all I gotta say about it. Fail or fail, y'all. C minus. What did you guys think about it? Comment freely below. Let me know what you thought. If you like it, did the content hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G. Sign out this mug. See you in the next video.